what would you say to a leader, whether a nonprofit leader, a church leader, marketplace leader, who is on the fence about uh, a coaching relationship? Mm -hmm. um, every it doesn't it doesn't matter what your background, how successful you are, or um, how successful you've been. All of us need it. All of us need it. When I read, and I will say this because I'm in this field, especially the people who are in ministry, especially pastors. Right. Um, the statistics that I was telling you about is on pastoralcareinc.com slash statistics. And I read those statistics years ago, years ago. Some of them have been updated and changed, right. but, but they're still showing a lot of unhealth in ministry. Right. Um, and so in one form or fashion, I think it's important as pastors and leaders that the, I, I, I would go as far as to say every senior pastor ought to sign up their people for coaching. Right. Every senior pastor, because if we are having these statistics and, and pastors are being hurt, there's, there's, um, you know, there was one that said, um, 80% of pastors expect, expect conflict. Right. Right. And 40% report serious conflict within a year. Uh, I mean, when are we going to stop and say, okay, we got to change this, right. you know? And so um, the benefit that that I've had through coaching has just it, it's made me healthier as a leader. Right. And, and I think all of us will benefit from it, whether you're a businessman or um, or you're in leadership or you're in the market marketplace leadership or you're just like a coordinator and you're like, I just want to up my skills right. Um, right. and grow as a leader or grow as a person who would support my leader. Right. Um, I think every person, no matter what walk of life you come from, would benefit from it. Right. I'm someone who, who I come from the world of coaching others. I right. come from the world of leading others. Right. Um, I come from the world of building teams and, volu and volunteer teams or staff teams. Um, I come from that world. I've seen what it's like to have a room packed full of leaders and pastors and you're teaching them and you're pouring out your guts to them. <laughs> right. You're pouring out what the Lord has given you to share with them. Right. I've experienced all of that. Um, but I realize through just self-awareness that coaching would help me go to the next level in my leadership. Yeah. And I think we're in a place, um, I think just in our world, in the church, um, we're just in a place where we need that next level. We need to have next level thinking. And that's what I was after. I was after next level thinking. Um, and the reason why I was after next level thinking is because I realized that, that we're reaching a completely different audience than we used to. Mm. We're leading, we're, so our, our leadership has to change. It has to adapt mm. to the people that we're leading today. Because the way that we, we used to lead or the way that pastors used to lead it just isn't working anymore. Right. right. Um, so I needed help doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Chad, you have been uh, a tremendous blessing in my life. Uh, I think that's, I think that's what I enjoy about coaching more than possibly what I realize is that even though I'm the one asking thoughtful, intentional questions and allowing you to wrestle through that, mm -hmm. uh, I get so much wisdom and insight from those that I, I get to serve alongside. Uh, so.